If there's a smart band that can challenge the Mi Band series at about the current price of the Mi Band 3, I'd say it definitely is the Elephone W7. As a start, GPS, more than 15 different kinds of sport and surprisingly good app. Let's see about the rest. The W7 is in fact a great smart band and maybe you're watching at the best value device of that kind for 2018. Priced at around 25 US dollars, it is quite a steal and it's unbelievable how many features it packs underneath this tiny looking body. Because I tend to find most of these fitness trackers too gentle and somewhat better suiting a hand of a lady, I need to highlight the dimensions. Because of the larger battery and the inbuilt GPS, the Elephone W7 is a bit larger than the average smart band and in fact suits pretty well even people with larger wrists. To be fair, on the first sight, expectations were rather low from that simple package. Weirdly, there was some space for perhaps a cable, but inside we find only the watch and the user guide. And that guide is worth reading. I usually belong to the people that do first and once things mess up, then do the reading. Don't be like me and if you're about to get the W7, read the guide as it nicely explains everything that you need to know. There we go, for a moment I thought that somehow the charging cable fell off the box during transportation, but then the user guide showed me that there's no need for a charging cable. Hooray! I love when things are cable independent. And I hate it when every new model has to arrive with a proprietary charging cable. And I know sometimes it just has to be like that. This is why such a solution is worth appreciating. In that sense, it beats the Mi Band 3 big time, as you can charge it much easier and there never is the chance for getting a cable. This also means access to replacement straps and there already are a few different colors. In that area, there's no way beating the Mi Band series because of the huge popularity of Xiaomi's products. But let's say your choices are enough. Hardware-wise, nothing too shiny, a relatively good chipset which will never lag or slow down and is produced by a reputable company, 0.96 inch screen size, 160 mAh battery and a capacitive touch button, the heart rate sensor and the accelerometer, which takes care of the step count, are no different to most of the models of 2018. The overall design is nice, with rectangular shape of the display, good placement of the touch button and overall a well visible screen of that type. Note that if it is under direct sunlight, you may find it hard to read anything, but even so, visibility is better than the Mi Band 3. Two major things make a big difference here, and both of them are software related, the app and the firmware. Let's start with the way we control it. This is the default watch face, quite informative. On the same page you're getting weather forecast, step count, calories burned, the available space is well utilized. Usually to switch between the available designs, it takes a long press. Nothing like that here. This is one of the few things I find irritating. The watch faces are available via a separate menu. Before reaching to it, we go through the heart rate menu and the sports modes. Now, there's a trick you need to know about. The sport modes accessible from the watch are six in total, but if your favorite one is not there, there's a great chance that it is available from the app and you can load it to the band. And yes, from the app, for some of the menus, you may add or change the functionality. Pretty cool. Depending on the type of sport, the GPS may be engaged or not. In fact, enabling the GPS is something you may do for each kind of sport. It is not on by default for some of them, like football. You can see quite a lot of data and it's nice to have that much detailed information about the heart rate. Here's an example with the GPS involved, a cycling session. Please note that the pulse measurement here is accurate. The values are low because I was not actually cycling. I was with a scooter, just wanted to test the GPS. And 
it was fine in terms of accuracy perfect to acquire gps signal it took it about 20 seconds on a cloudy day which is up to par with most of the other smartphones and smart watches few other goodies are here music playback the feature i couldn't make work on my phone the photo feature however is brilliant there's even a custom-made camera interface that appears on the phone stopwatch function to find your smartphone and that's it more or less through all the testing time it felt awesome to be able to read all my notifications and get notified about calls i think it is meaningless to mention that in terms of functionality it kicks the Mi Band's ass again. Now, the app. Every time I have to test a new band, I feel terrified by the need to install another unknown, weird-looking and sometimes unprofessionally compiled thing. And this one is called High Move and is in fact known of these bad things. The amount of functions is just about right, with understandable grouping of the features good representation of the historical data. You don't need any registrations and this is great. Sections to adjust your profile, goal settings and then we jump to the device settings. This is where we do the trick with adding the sports. Keep in mind that walking and running are the two sports you can't remove and you have four optional slots. Nice! Alarms, water drinking reminder, sedentary reminder, do not disturb and going back to the main screen, you see that? Google Fit Integration. Finally, a $25 fitness tracker with proper Google Fit Integration. Let's be honest, I don't think there's something more that we can wish from a device for such a modest budget. And while there still is some time until the end of 2018, right now this tracker can easily get the crown for the best budget device of the year. And, sure, I can think of something missing. Continuous heart rate. While we have no defined continuous heart rate switch in the app, it indeed takes a chunk every 30 minutes. And if you need an easy cheat for getting it, just enter walking mode. It will of course make you charge the band more often. Oh, forgot to mention about the battery life. 25 days of standby, between 15 and 20 days mixed usage without sports, if sports modes and GPS are on, it is kind of hard to say. I got 4 days with 1 hour sports session each of the days and there was still some juice left. And there we go, that's the Elephone W7, right now the fitness tracker that stands out among devices at that price. And here's a challenge for you, could you point to a fitness tracker? Below $30, that is better than the W7. Let me see your ideas in the comments below and please do me a SSL favor. Now you're asking what is SSL? Ha! Huh. Of course, it means subscribe, share and like. And thank you for choosing the Tech4O channel for this review. I'll be back soon with more. See ya!